police have now made a second arrest in connection with a deadly street race in Chatsworth. Prosecutors do not believe either man in custody was behind the wheel, though, the speeding car that killed two spectators. But as KCALINE's Dave Lopez shows us tonight, both are now charged with murder. 38-year-old Israel Valenzuela pleaded not guilty to two counts of suspicion of murder today. The judge will not allow cameras to show his face, citing pending ID issues. And outside court, his attorney, Jay Jaffe, said his client is not guilty of murder. This really should not have been filed as a murder, but if filed at all, it should have been filed as a vehicular manslaughter. It was Valenzuela driving either car involved in the drag race. I'm not going to get into the facts of the case and who was driving and who was not driving. Henry Gavorkian, the owner of the Mustang, has already been arrested and pleaded not guilty to two counts of murder. His attorney says he was not driving the car and cites this video at the start of the race. She claims that's Kevorkian, the starter in the race, not the driver of the Mustang. When I asked the DA's office specifically if the two men in custody were in fact driving in that drag race, the response, quote, we do not believe that either one of those men were driving but they had a significant role in that race. That's why they're being charged with murder. This is just not the type of case that you would usually see a murder. Police say at least 60 people were watching this illegal drag race in the streets of Chatsworth. It was 2 a.m. when the Mustang at the start of the race went out of control. Two spectators were killed. Can we get any comment at all from any of you, please? Anybody? Sir, any comment whatsoever at all? No comment from the Valenzuela family today. Both defendants will be back in court next Wednesday hoping to get their $2 million bail reduced. From San Fernando, Dave Lopez, KCAL 9 News.